Hello, today we are going to talk about synonymous variants. Synonymous variants mean that uh, sometimes in our uh, genetic code we have uh, codons that uh, can lead to the same amino acid after translation. It means, for example, uh, when we have uh, three nucleotides, uh, for example, three guanines, so G, 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 and uh, let's say that we change the third G for an A, then we will have G, G, A. Both codons will order the entry of a glycine in the protein. So it means that uh, those, these uh, two codons are synonymous because they, 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 they lead to the entry of the same glycine in the protein sequence. So someone says, well, if you have your sequence, if you change one nucleotide by another and the amino acid that enters in the protein sequence is the same, that is harmless. No, not always. Why? Because sometimes if that change is near, uh, is close to an intron, this sequence may be necessary to the splicing process. Meaning that even though that change does not alter the amino acid that will enter in the protein sequence, it can, it can uh, alter the splicing process. Many times uh, sequences in axons close to introns, they are used, they are recognized for proteins that participate in the process of splicing. And because of that, that axon may not detach from its, uh, from the, the intron that is attached to it. And because of that, you may have a, an RNA that is not uh, ready to get out of the cell nucleus. It may be trapped inside the nucleus. And because of that, you, you may even uh, not produce any protein. Or, or maybe you can uh, have a, a RNA containing that intron in the middle of it. And because of that, you will alter all the sequence. And, and you can have uh, nonsense mutations, uh, amputating the protein uh, right in the beginning of the sequence, for example. And because of that, you will have a very, very different protein, even though that in the sequence it looked like it was an innocent variation. So, uh, we have to pay more attention to synonymous variants. Uh, in general, we can say that most commercial labor laboratories, they don't pay enough attention to synonymous variants. So, how can we analyze Every time that we see a novel uh, synonymous variant, what can we do to analyze and understand if that variant is leading to uh, a problem or not? So we have to, to replicate uh, the natural uh, process uh, of, the genetic, uh, of the, the genetic sequencing. So let's say that we have a retinal dystrophy. So, and, and then we sequenced that patient and we saw that there is a, a variant uh, that is synonymous there. So what do we do? We construct by genetic engineering a mini gene, a mini gene containing that variation. And we, we also construct another mini gene be, uh, being the wild type, meaning uh, the right sequence. Let's uh, take that example of uh, the codon GGG as the wild type and the codon GGA as the synonymous variant. 
And then we construct these two mini genes. What will we do? We will transfect cell cultures and then we will wait for those cells to replicate, to multiply, and then we will uh, extract the RNA from those two cell cultures. And then we will uh, pipe it, those uh, RNAs, in uh, a gel and run an electrophoresis. And then we will see if uh, the altered codon will lead to an altered uh, quantity and size of RNA, all right? And then we will compare those bands. Uh, so this is how we, we see if that uh, synonymous variant is causing uh, a problem in splicing or not. Now let's take another case. Let's think about a disease, a skin disease. So a skin a genetic skin disease is easier to analyze when we think about synonymous variants. Why? Because we can, we can easily get a, a, a tiny biopsy of the skin without harming the patient's health, which we cannot do with the retina. I cannot go inside the eye and get a, a retinal biopsy uh, because it is dangerous. So, but with the skin, I just get the skin and directly I can ex extract the RNA from the skin and I can get skin from controls or other patients that had, for example, other diseases not related to the patient's disease and uh, get a uh, biopsy from their skin and they will be the control. And then I will extract the, their RNA and then I can run the gel and compare and see if uh, the splicing is compromised or not. So this is how we analyze uh, synonymous variants. It is uh, an extremely, in, extremely interesting um, subject right now. And in the future, uh, we hope and uh, I really believe that commercially we will have uh, some type of, uh, of easier way to analyze it uh, in, the, in the pipeline of, uh, in the analytical pipeline of those uh, commercial labor laboratories. So that's it. Thank you. Bye.